Yo, what's good, my people? Anthony here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a brand new movie. Now, are you guys familiar with South African films? Like, I've discovered this stuff. I am a huge fan now. Let me introduce you all to Real Estate Sisters, all right? Now, if you haven't heard of it, get ready for real fun in Cape Town adventure with some serious South African vibes. So look, listen, the story follows these two amazing sisters, Lorado and Malebo Maseko. They're hustling hard in the Cape Town real estate game to make the sale and secure the bag. But if we're keeping it all the way 100, things are a little rough. These two are dodging their hilarious mom's shade for not being married yet. I mean, look, it's hard enough that they're living at home under their mom's rules, but they're getting all the shade from her too. And this mama has no chill but these sisters are strong they're independent women and they're determined to make it on their own but real estate sisters ain't just about trying to get by the heart of this movie is the incredible bond between Lorado and Malebo these actresses absolutely kill it they portray a real relatable sisterhood supportive funny and they're there for each other through the good times and the bad You'll laugh with them, you'll cry with them, maybe a little, but most importantly, you'll feel their connection. Now, things get interesting when romance enters the picture. Lorado falls for the smooth-talking stalk who's got game for days. Like, my guy is smooth smooth. But hold up, there's a dark secret lurking in his basement. A secret that is the heart of this movie's plot. Meanwhile, Malebo's boo thing, Boyki, needs to cough up some serious cash if he wants to make her his wife. Yup. He has to pay Malebo's mom some sort of tithing if he wants to marry Malebo. This movie shines a hilarious light on the cultural expectations and explores the complexities of modern love in a way that'll have you thinking. But let's not forget the breathtaking backdrop of this film. The cinematography is very nice to look at and you get a sense of the beauty of South Africa from the fancy restaurants and clubs to the vibrant neighborhoods. It's a visual feast that celebrates the country's rich culture and stunning landscapes. Now, no movie is perfect and Real Estate Sisters, it has a few bumps in the road. The ending throws a bit of a curveball. Things wrap up a little too quickly, leaving some questions unanswered. How did the sisters suddenly achieve their dreams? Why did everyone just get on board with what they were saying? It might leave you scratching your head a little bit when you see it all play out, but despite those minor plot holes, Real Estate Sisters is a fun, heartwarming ride. It's a celebration of sisterhood, South African culture, and the hustle it takes to chase your dreams. So if you're looking for a movie with laughs, drama, and gorgeous scenery, Real Estate Sisters is definitely worth checking out on Netflix right now. Yeah, it's on Netflix. You don't even got to go out your way. Go to Netflix, look up Real Estate Sisters, hit play, thank me later. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below, what you thought of this movie. Did you love this sisterhood? Did the ending leave you confused? Hit that like button if you enjoyed this little recap and review and subscribe for more of our movie adventures. That's all I got for this one. I'm gonna check you all later. Peace.